Hey guys, so don't expect this a whole lot. I mean, I'll if I see something ridiculous like this, I'll talk about it, but my channel is not going to be political anymore. Um, tried that once, YouTube wanted to fuck me over, so not happening. Um, but when I see stupid shit like this, when I see stupid shit like this, now you see this, now we're at the Daily Mail. You see something like this, and you think, oh man, it must have been like Babylon B or The Onion, which Babylon B, look at all the parodies they've done in the past and how many of them are actually happening, happening now. So, fiction is becoming reality. But it says, Biden administra administration to fund programs that hand out crack pipes to prevent infection and promote racial equity. A 30 million, 30 million, where do you think that money's coming from? A uh, grant program to distribute funds to nonprofits and local governments to make drug use safer and advance racial equity. Wasn't there this whole thing in the 80s and 90s against drugs and opioids and all this? Now all of a sudden they're like, Oh yeah, you want to smoke crack? Well, here you can do it for free. you can do it legally now. It's for free. Taxpayers are paying for it. Included in the grant is money to purchase safe smoking kits and supplies. A spokesperson for the HHS said in, uh, said included in these kits could be pipes for users to smoke substances like crack cocaine and crystal methamphetamine. What? Is this, is this all because of the merge? I mean, Chris, didn't Chris say things would be happening? Is this because of the merge? Is all this retardation because of Chris? Is the merge actually happening? Because the, the, they spent years fighting against drug use and, and, and substance abuse. But now they're basically handing people out free fucking crack pipes and they smoke up. What? And racial... What? What? Handing out pipes is also intended to prompt users to smoke rather than inject themselves with some substances like meth as injection is far riskier. It is against the law to sell or distribute drug paraphernalia, including such pipes, unless authorized by state, local, or federal government. This is why no one takes this administration you know, seriously. They're doing this shit. Again, don't expect this to be a regular thing, but I saw this and I thought, okay, uh, how this, this can't be real. But as I've said, with Babylon B, if you see the Babylon B on Twitter, it, it, they'll say shit, and then months later, what they say is becomes true. They're, they're like the next Nostradamus. I just how, and how is this racial equity? Let's see. Uh... Newest. Your, ta your tax dollars often smoke. But yet those needing pain medicine through a reputable doctor and those with cancer, even end stages, can't get it. Yet I'll have, to com uh, I'll have comfort knowing this program is coming out a new crack pipes. I mean, I... Our tax dollars being used for this. Can't make it up. I never used crack, but may have to start to make, uh, may have to start to make it through his presidency. The U.S. is officially in the twilight zone. But hey, look on the bright side. No more mean tweets. You know, orange man bad.
Ah, a gift for Hunter. Speechless. I can't believe what I just read. It's a joke, right? Please tell me it's a joke. And yet pot is still illegal on the federal level. What a joke our government. Yeah. Weed? Most non-harmful drug in existence. And they're like, no, it's illegal, guys. I cannot imagine the full extent of the damage this administration is to, uh, going to accomplish by the end of his term. The only way to stop him is to vote out as many Dems out of uh, Dems out next November. What a joke. No words. I'm speechless. There's not one person who says, oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, wait. Unless this is sarcasm. Thank God. Long time coming. Addicts need compassion and harm reduction needed. People are dying. There is another pandemic in the U.S. and it's addiction. Addicts need... I'm pretty sure that's that satire because legalize all drugs. Come on. Yes, because the way to fight addiction is to feed your addiction, right? So I'm guessing that's satire. God help us. <laughs> Biden has so much respect for the American people, said no one. I just, <laughs> yeah, bizarre world, absolutely disgusting. Please tell me this is a joke. I weep for America. This is a joke, right? What am I reading? Yep. We will have to put the smartest man Joe, uh, we will have to put the smartest man Joe knows on this task. Uh-huh. Stop the world I want to get off. From the onion, right? Yeah, you would think this was from the onion. You would think this was from, from the Babylon Bee. Nope. And just to prove, this was, I put in Biden administration, crack pipes, Babylon Bee. It would have been the first one. It's, it, it's not a joke. This is seriously what they're fucking doing. And like I said, this is not a political channel anymore, but when I see stupid shit like this, because what what is this going to do? It's causing more harm. It's feeding addictions, which you're supposed to be fighting against. It's like, well, at least they're going to have a safe place and uh, safe, safe drugs. What? Aren't you supposed to try to get them off the drugs since it's, you know, a pandemic? The merge is happening, people. Merge is happening. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. 